Same same when you get new recruits. Yes. Yeah. So yes. You, you, if people want to do the right thing. Right. We still have a lot of quality men and women that want yeah. to get these jobs. They want to do so. Yeah. What else? Uh, I got one, one more. <laughs> uh, what, what, what are we going to do about the, uh, about the bill that was signed in by Ronald Reagan in 1988, Act of Congress, that uh, indemnified the vaccine manufacturers from all liability? Yeah. You know who, um, you know who is that? I guy? mean, to me, that's very important, yeah, considering what we've been through. So, here, so, so just so you know what we do, if you're a vaccine manufacturer, basically you take no risk, right? That's not fair. It's not right. fair. Um, so the, um, you know, the, the, um, the person that actually has done the best on this is Ron Johnson. Yep. Um, he Ron has. In the Senate. He's, he and Mike Lee are probably my two best friends up in the Senate. So Ron is a business guy from, um, um, Wisconsin and he was actually, when I first got up there in my first two years, he was the chair of the Homeland Security Committee. Um, but even when we were had a majority, we had to get everybody to agree, like all the Hunter Biden stuff, the laptop. We all knew that stuff in 2019. Um, the people, the two people to follow on all that stuff is Chuck Grassley and Ron Johnson, because they both run that committee, so they've been up there long enough that a lot of whistleblowers come to them. Uh, but it doesn't make any it, it doesn't make any sense. Why do they? Why? Why? You know, don't they take any risk? I mean, I think, they say it's you know they supposedly say it's safe. So. I think it's the right campaign well, well, yeah, donations. There's there's, um, um, there's a. You know, I'm a business guy, so what you think about it is okay. So you know you have to get something done, right? The first thing you think, okay, so how can I get that done? Uh, Jeff knows this. That will be, that is very difficult. Oh. Because the um, the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical industry is really powerful in D.C. Yeah. So sometimes, I used to tell my dad when he was passing away, I said, Dad, you're like a pincushion for the pharmaceutical industry. I mean, they're giving you so much stuff right now and they fill you fill your body with all this stuff i said every monday they make you go to the, see the doctor and they just make a fortune yes yeah. yeah yeah but i agree they there there will be um there's going to be a time that that we can get that fixed I, I can just tell you between now and the end of the year nothing's going to happen yeah except maybe in the in the office but you know, but that has to get fixed i'm i'm working i'm working on it <laughs> just <laughs> the, the guy the guy that the guy that's leading the effort in the Senate is Ron. Yes, I love Ron. I've been watching I, him for four I, years, five you know, years. You know, he does, he does. I can't, we're the minority, so we cannot have a hearing, but yep. you can have what's called a mock hearing. Ron has done those uh, and has really gotten out a lot of good advice. Yes, absolutely. He, he, you have to really admire what he's done. Oh, great. Senate